The houses in this new estate in Abuja are about to go on sale, but some might stay on the market for years because of the high interest rates on loans to buy them. So the World Bank's decision to provide Nigeria with money to help provide low interest mortgages is good news for millions of people who want to buy a house. The few who have managed to buy their own home say it will take more than a loan from the World Bank to solve the problem. I'm grateful to the World Bank for doing this, but um, that doesn't go far enough. What the government must do is just uh, parcel out the land, um, build the infrastructures, provide electricity, provide water, provide roads. But often it's the developers who have to put in those things, and they say that dries up the cost of building homes. Here in Nigeria, buying a house in cash is cheaper than taking a loan with a high interest rate. So the government plans to use the World Bank money to set up a mortgage finance company to lend money to prospective homeowners at low interest rates. That should increase the number of people who take out mortgages in Nigeria, which is currently around 30,000, very low for a country of 160 million people. What the World Bank has done is to come behind us and say they want to help us develop the Nigerian uh, mortgage refinance facility, which will be able to um, refinance mortgages, put more liquidity in the economy, um, help us standardize the approach to mortgages. It will enable people who have steady jobs or who have their own businesses and have steady cash flow to be able to own a home, which is the dream of everyone, without stress. Mortgage providers welcome the government plan. This is probably a step in the right direction. Its structure is such that you, you, you originate the mortgages, you refinance them at a lower interest rate, you get your monies back, you are able to also turn it around, do the same thing over and over again. But there's still a long way to go. The lack of affordable mortgages has led to a shortage of 17 million homes that need to be built by the year 2020 to meet demand. Yvonne Dege, Al Jazeera, Abuja.